Shut up and sit down. Welcome back, MXGP fans. We are at round three in Argentina. All right, so it is raining out. The first time this season I've had that. Um, I was fastest in practice, and I'm trying to get up on these guys in the first lap. Come on, just do it. I found it. This track was pretty easy, and I I switched to first person mode just to switch it up because. Uh, I wasn't having that many problems with I'm still on pro physics. I did not turn them off. Uh, but just on this track, I was just doing good. There was uh, there's only a few spots that were giving me a couple of uh, problems. But other than that, I'm in the lead and uh, let's see if I can hold it for a while. First things first, let's talk about MXGP 2019. The game was finally announced the other day. Uh, after a whole bunch of teaser trailers, um, some abstract kind of things, you know, find a safe place. What did that mean? Uh, if you didn't, guys didn't watch my uh, spoof trailer for MXGP5 and, you know, speculating what it could be, uh, Battlegrounds, uh, a Battle Royale version of MXGP, uh, take a look at the link above and uh, let me know what you think about it. Uh, but anyways, back to MXGP 2019. It is going to be released for Xbox, PS4, and on PC uh, August 27th, 2019. Um, the big news about it is the track editor is now going to be included. It is going to have four different uh, areas where you can build an outdoor track, I believe. There's going to be uh, the forest, uh, the desert, the French Riviera, and a Pacific area jungle to be able to design your tracks. Um, not a lot of details yet about what it's going to be. Um, I'm, a, I'm just going to assume that they are going to have a... It's going to be a set area with the elevation, the um, natural terrain already there, and then you'll be able to set up your track uh, going up and down the hills, hopefully already. Um, if it's just a flat area within those areas, that's that's not going to cut it. I don't think for a track editor for an outdoors. Um, you know, so that would be pretty cool. I kind of wish it would have been really cool if you could have uh, used the existing areas that they had, like Argentina, let's say. Hey, let's make the... Let's be able to make the 2019 or 20 or whatever Argentina track we wanted to um, using the existing area here. Um, we would just be able to put the track wherever we wanted in this, this terrain here. That would have been pretty cool. I don't know if they have any special licensing they would have to do for that or not, but I don't think they would. Uh, must have been just a little too hard. Um, other than the track editor, they also mentioned some waypoint racing. Uh, if you if you remember from their teaser trailers, they had the there was one shot of a magazine. It had it showed the dunes and uh, the dunes. I'm thinking Dakar, um, you know, a waypoint racing that way. Uh, so that might be pretty cool. You'd be able to lay down your own waypoints on the tracks, and I think you're going to be able to share them. Uh, yeah, you can download them online um, and share them with your friends or other people. Uh, so around those different outdoor areas, you're going to be able to put waypoints, uh, try to try to hit the checkpoints, I guess, and then whoever can do it fastest. Um, so hopefully there's some really cool terrain. You can try to make some hard, hard lines to get up and down and uh, some big jumps and stuff, some big transitions maybe. Who knows? Uh, that, that might be pretty cool. Uh, another thing that's going to be really neat is it is the... You're going to be able to race the 2019 season already. Um, instead of it being a year behind, you're at uh, the 2019 season. Uh, you know, by August, uh, they're still halfway through. They're about halfway through their season, the real MXGP guys. Uh, but it's most of the tracks are the same. They're, they're going to be a little different. But like it, I raced this Argentina track back in the MXGP two days, and it's from what I remember, it just looks better in this uh, pro game. Um, but it's pretty much the exact same track. So if anything, for the tracks that uh, the real guys haven't gotten to yet or they just didn't have time to change in the in the game uh, during development, um, maybe they can come out with a patch. Uh, 
you know, okay, this track changed after we released the game, so let's let's go ahead and give you guys an update. I'm hoping they will. Uh, that'd be pretty cool because if it's if it's the wrong track, um, that's not very cool. Anyway, it's pretty exciting. Uh, we will see if it lives up to the hype. You know, hopefully after uh, Supercross 2 and uh, what they learned on this game of what not to do um, with the physics, uh, it'll be an improvement over both of these games, uh, this game and uh, Supercross 2. So if you, uh, why don't you, in the comments, uh, you know, let me know what you feel about the new uh, MXGP 2019 game that's coming out. Uh, I'd be interested uh, to know what you guys think. Are you going to buy it? Are you going to wait, see how it is? Uh, I'll be buying it day one. Uh, just because I'm, you know, Supercross 2 is getting kind of played out. It's still fun, but uh, this track right here, after playing Argentina, the first two tracks in this game, uh... Cutter and Indonesia I was hating this game uh, after playing Argentina though man a lot funner I remember this track from the first game and I think this in this game it's it's a big improvement uh, from the last time I played MXGP2 uh, the rain is like yeah whatever um, I think the rain effects are a little better in Supercross 2 so definitely they'll improve that like like look at these puddles that filled in the ruts I mean that's pretty cool but uh, it didn't feel like it was muddy, really. Uh, in Supercross 2, it it feels like you are you're in the mud. Uh, this was not like that. Uh, hopefully, they'll have different. Oh, geez, I just got past. Was that Jonas? So I was leading the entire race. Uh, Jonas fought back against me. All right, last lap. Let's just see if I can keep this guy behind me. That corner right there, I would just shift up into fifth uh, to try to avoid wheel spin. That was one of the places where the bike did like to slide, um, you know, to avoid the, the pro physics problems. Ooh, I went wide off the trip. Okay, he got by me. Let's see if I catch him. I like jumping down that hill right there. And then the AI is slightly slow through these roller, uh, roller whoops there. And then right here, they're slow in this corner. So you can hopefully come inside him. Oh, bang some bars, but uh, I can't accelerate good out of that corner for some reason. They are also slow coming into this corner through here. So you can go on the inside, make up some time there. This is the toughest corner on the track right here. This long sweeper. I am just feathering the throttle. And in first person mode, it's really hard to see what your rear end's doing. You kind of just got to feel it uh, with the controller. It's kind of hard, uh, but not bad. Come on. They're slow. He went wide. Can almost double that. We're going inside on him. Took our first moto win of the season, man. That was a good race. Here is the ranking at the end of race one. Paul's Jonas, so he sum up with the results of race two to determine today's winner. In 2018, what did he get? Last year, he got second overall um, behind uh, Jorge Prado. Right, second race. Let's see what we can do again. I cannot get a good start on these guys. Uh, Supercross 2, there's some bugs where you can get easy hole shots now, but um, I'm starting in third gear, and they just get the jump on me. See if I move my way up again on the first lap. They're kind of pushing me out of the way. Like Jonas is up there. I don't remember what Jorge Prado's number was. He is he that 61 KTM? Can't remember. Oh, I got. Oh no, I thought I was gonna get by them both. 
No, that's a different rider. I don't know where Prado is. Yeah, so Argentina, uh, this track, I think, was uh, the first time they went there was in 2015. It was a brand new track, or at least uh, brand new to the MXGP uh, tour. They, it's, it has some like five star resorts around it. Um, it's, it's by a lake uh, underneath, you know, the picturesque, the uh, Andes Mountains uh, up in Patagonia. I think it's pretty close to. Um, it seems like uh, everybody seemed to like this track and the fans were pretty crazy and uh, it, was, it was a good track to come back to. This is going to be a much tougher race. Kind of just run it up on him. Man, just shift up to fifth so to just avoid the wheel spin. But it bogs down so easy. And I haven't messed with my settings on the bike at all too much. Uh, just a little bit. I'm almost like I don't really care what the settings are. Uh, if you guys have followed uh, my Supercross 2 bike testing, um, you know, I've done lots of tests with the different components. Uh, I just did one for the settings. Um, how they affect the jumping. Uh, so if you want to look at that, take a look at the link above. But from what I found, uh, settings don't do a lot in this game, or I'm sorry, in the Supercross game, but it's built off the same same engine as this one. So, oh my God, I jumped too far on that and it, it makes me crash. Uh, now I got to fight back. So the only setting I could find that uh, really affected jumping in a positive way was the uh, extension on the suspension. Um, so I put that at a plus five and it definitely gave you more, more hang time and more distance off the jumps. So I did think, I think I did change it on this one. Um, maybe, I don't know. I think I left all the settings neutral though the defaults but another thing we don't know about MXGP 2019 the game is it gonna have better ruts uh, you know the ruts look like they're forming here they definitely filled in with water but they in a race like this I think in these corners there would be some big ruts forming and we would be able to ride them uh, and not have to worry about sliding out. We Like right here, we would just hit a rut, rail that rut. But I couldn't, man, I definitely couldn't feel it. You know, reading the forums and stuff, everybody thinks that MXGP3 and those had ruts that actually, actually worked. Um, oh, man, I can't remember from MXGP2 when I played it uh, if the ruts actually worked or not. Uh, it's, it's been many years since I played that on Xbox. I think I'm going to play out the rest of the season in first person mode though. Uh, I like it a lot better than uh, the follow cam. Uh, let me know what you think. Do you like uh, wh what mode, what view do you guys play in mostly? I don't have a problem. Some people have a problem with this mode, um, but I this is how I play at MXGP2 and Supercross 1 uh, only in uh, first person mode. I think it gives a better experience. Two laps to go, fourth place. But I am actually liking this game now. Like I said, this this track was uh, a lot better than those other two. And I don't know, again, it was, is it just um, the AI was... I don't know if I would have been able to keep up with the AI as well as I did on this track. Uh, as I did on the, f the first two, I had a problem. Um, I was good in practice, but then... Man, I would just... Well, I crashed a lot too, but... It just seems like everything came together on this track. I, I rode better. It felt better, though. The physics didn't 
mess with me as much. Um, and I don't think I have gotten used to it more. I mean, the last time I played was probably over a week ago uh, from the last video I made. So this is, uh, I just came in tonight and, and did this race and I did, I did the normal practice, practice, the qualifying race, and then these, these two races. Uh, so it's, until it changes my, my mind, um, I'm giving it a little bit better review now. Uh, I'm liking it. I hope it doesn't rain in the next round. I think I heard, saw some other people say that it rains all the time in this game. Uh, so we'll see. All right, final lap. Can I catch up to Jonas? He's got a good gap on me. I do not think I can do it. I think I was supposed to do like seven scrubs in the race, the next two races or something, uh, to satisfy my sponsor. Uh, I don't think I've done that. Uh, none of these jumps do I get high enough. I guess I could do it here, but I wasn't getting high enough in any of these jumps to really scrub and feel confident to pull it back uh, without crashing. Oh, I'm catching him a little bit. Not enough area for me to catch him. This corner is too tough. I could get a little cut there, didn't didn't say anything. I was always nervous going through that corner. I did have a weird off in practice or the qualifying race where it just, I went down for no reason. All right, so we did not do it, but we got second. Second place in the second race. That should give me second overall, I believe. The official results of race two are ready. Yep, Let's second. And I believe Jonas got second the in the first one, so he should have the overall. Oh yeah, now I got to do these for the uh, the rivalries or whatever. You need to like agree, disapprove, be neutral with uh, what these guys are saying. I approve of everything they said. They gave me some props this one for winning. Okay, let's check this overall though. Okay, see, I have the overall win. That's not right. I only won the first moto. I got second, and Jonas got second in the first and first in the second he should get the overall that's how it works unless something changed in oh, mxgp that i don't know of uh whoever Excellent. usually wins the second Team race wins the tiebreaker i'll take it but hey if you guys enjoyed this hit the like button leave me a comment and uh hit the subscribe if you can and i'll see you on the next one have a good one